Hi everyone. How's it all going? Hope you're able to stay dry. I'm just going to wait for a few minutes for a few people to maybe grab their cuppers or have a nervous wee like I did. <laughs> I haven't done this for a while. I don't in front of the camera. Hey Sarah! Oh, thanks for joining me. I loved your FB Live. You've got so much energy when you present. And then you look like you're in your 30s and then you reveal you've got no kids. So that's the secret to young looking skin. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Hello, Lisa. Oh, wow. Is this from the drumming days, Lisa? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, thanks for joining me. Hey, Pim Mahani, how's it going? Hey Cheryl. Hey Lorraine. Are you all at home crafting today? It's pretty grim. I left my washing out last night, a massive load of washing, and uh, I've had to put it in the spin cycle. And may all of Mabel's pajamas are in that washing, so um, hopefully we can get them dry before tonight. <laughs> Hey Jennifer, hey Tracy, hello Laurie, Mwah. hey Joe. You're not late at all Jennifer, we haven't started talking about anything in particular other than our hellos. Oh thank you Laurie, thank you. I made this, I made this a while back, so of course my pillow's got this device in it so that when you sleep in it, it pours reinforced concrete on your head. And then when you wake up, you get these kinks <laughs> and they actually go bedoying when you press them. So um, these headbands have been a lifesaver. I haven't even bothered to make an appointment at the hairdresser. I'll probably have to wait until next July. So actually I should get round to it. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Joe. Oh, you're getting your hair done, Laurie. Ooh! <laughs> it's a bit awkward having really hairy hair when you're crafting. It kind of fringe just kind of gets in the way, doesn't it? Yes. Cheryl, washing. Don't hang your washing out, Cheryl. Unless it's really sunny where you are. It probably isn't. I hope it is. Hello, Catherine. Hi, Linda. Hello, Freddie. Thanks for joining me. Hello, Laura. So today we're just generally having a bit of a, a bag making chit chat. Um, and I'm going to be talking, hey Lisa, I can't watch as crafty monkeys, but I'm here to answer questions. Oh, yes, do answer. So, um, some of you might know, I have become a Crafty Monkeys teacher. Yes! Which is very exciting to me because if you haven't heard of the Crafty Monkeys, well, the first time I heard about them was um, I started hearing about these luxury retreats that some of the big name teachers were going on. Um, people that I super respect, people that went on the sewing bee and won the sewing bee. And I've always looked up to up at them and I thought, wow. So everyone has their sewing heroes, famous or not. And it turns out that a lot of my sewing and crafting heroes are Crafty Monkeys teachers. And I used to think, oh wow, if, if I had the time, I would love to go on a Crafty Monkeys retreat. I never even considered being amongst their teachers. I didn't ask. I think maybe I should have because the owner Rachel is gorgeous both to look at and to chat with um, and um, they approached me recently and asked me if I'd like to teach some bag making with them so yep spat my coffee out and said well hell yeah um, so I'm going to be teaching my first class with them on the 29th of this month 
and I've chosen a really sweet and very achievable clutch. And the nice thing about the clutch is it doesn't look like a beginner project. So when we want, when we make things and we're quite new, it's very encouraging to make something nice and for it to look like, like wow, you're really good at that, aren't you? So I, I chose a clutch. Um, and I'm going to talk about it today. But Rachel, the owner of Crafty Monkeys, super approachable, super funny. You'd love her at a dinner party if ever you're that way inclined, is here to answer any questions you might have about how these classes work. Um, so you might have noticed that we are in a lot now and a lot of us are crafting even more than we ever were before. And crafting is such a social activity and it's it's really hard to not be able to go to the classes or to crafty meetups or even chats at your local coffee shop about quilting issues or knitting issues so rachel saw this and started bringing her teaching online more as a response to covid really but she has found that the classes have been so successful they've they've um I mean, you're, you're, lots of people can join the class at the same time and everyone's questions do get answered. The views are cracking. Um, that actually the classes have taken off and Rachel has seriously considered doing them after, well, lockdown not only eases, but is over. So I, I sat in one of, um, in one of the classes and just, just found the organization to be wonderful. Uh, I had a nice top on and I had my slippers and pyjamas underneath and I was able to listen in comfort to all of the instructions. So I wanted to tell you if you're not used to the idea of um, online teaching, actually how pleasant and how beneficial and in, in, in some ways um, different yes and also better yes. I, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a mo. Um, but yes, do ask any questions you might have about what it's like to learn a Zoom class workshop. And Rachel, um, oh, they will continue, says Rachel. They are via Zoom. There's two cameras. Yes, there's two cameras. So when you are looking, when you're looking at me, you you get to see me face on. So I will have to, you know, like do the face and all of that but you get an amazing view of my hands um sorry if i'm not answering your questions and saying hellos i promise 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 i'll go back later um this evening and answer any questions directed at me um but this was more about um a chat about what it's like to be taught online via zoom with a teacher me and a host so Without more ado, shall I give you a quick idea of what it's like um, for the student looking overhead at something? Because I've got something really exciting to show you. Um, Wendy says, I love online classes. I have a disability and find it hard to get out. Plus, my friends are 240 miles away. Yes, that, that I think I think that is one of the major, major benefits when you when you learn remotely as long as your views are clear and you get to ask your questions as and when you need to there's no parking there's no traveling there's no there's no need for a, there's no need for a hotel actually just getting there is a major stress isn't it i mean i'm one of those people that needs to turn the map around in the direction that i'm going and I, I ignore the sat nav, so I usually have to leave to get anywhere super, super early because I just mega freak. The whole, the whole thing about knowing that you're going to learn at home, you've got your own machine, you've got your own tools, you've got a cuppa on hand, already you come to the class far, far more relaxed and you'll find that the, all of the ladies and the men teaching with you, they're all in the same boat and you find that the banter starts really really quickly and the fact that even that you're using that your own equipment is very comforting so you feel more relaxed more ready to learn i seriously seriously recommend you try it i'm just going to read a few more comments and then i'm going to stop teasing you about this thing that i want to show you yes do so rachel says do follow do follow crafty monkey so that's c-r-a-f-t-y-m-o-n-k-i-e-s 
and they've got videos to show you what it's like to be in a class and loads of really really clear pictures of the makes that you can make and interviews and offers and things like that it's a really really fun group even if you just want to check them out you're not ready to commit to buying a class they have a really lovely and lively facebook and instagram account so just to see what just to get a flavor of what they're up to and of course like the famous teachers it's lovely to see what they are doing Cheryl's Cheryl says I'm back wish I hadn't gone out there is a neighbor stood on the top of his washing his solar panels oh my good that's that sounds like a potential rod hull incident happening just about there no don't do it hi Victoria thanks for joining us hi Maureen Lynn says, have loved watching crafting videos over these months, either by Zoom or by video, especially being in the, I'm, I'm frightened to press the see more button on, on, on the comments, because I'm frightened something might disappear. So sorry if I don't read all of your comments. Yeah, I, I, I do think, you know, watching people's FB lives and, you know, watching craft shopping on the internet, I really do think that it's a way forward because you know we do need we do need to be at home but actually it's good for the environment as well not to need to get into your car or get into the train or you know making your way to to a site it's there are so many benefits well also instead of traveling in a train or a car you could be doing more sewing <laughs> hi victoria hi maureen hello martina thanks for joining me hi carol right so who wants to see who wants to see what's on my table and i'm hoping i'm hoping that the view that i'm just about to give you will give you an idea of what you would see if when when i'm teaching because obviously it's no good be looking at my face and doing you know lisa's waving her hands around and pulling faces at the camera like she does you need to see a clear view of what is on my what i'm doing with my hands so Hope Linda says never done any craft classes online so it'll be interesting to see one absolutely Linda um, and Rachel has done a video of what you would see so you, you don't need to pay anything it's just a short clip to give you an idea of what it what the class person classmate would see with the instructor's hands and honestly it's crystal clear so dun -la 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 -la. I am just about to flip the camera down and hopefully this will work. Can you see there? So I flip my camera down and this is the sort of thing that you would see. And do you see these? Right, of, of course they're upside down, Muppet. <laughs> this, these three clutches here are the smart clutches right, I'll pull them up okay well because the camera is pointed at the other end of the table I would have a side on view and Rachel the camera expert because she's XTV Rachel knows what she's doing with all the gadgetry and far better than I would so she she would help with the camera angles make sure that they're absolutely clear so yes that is a that is a bit of an idea of what um, a classmate would see they would always have a view of what I'm doing with my hands on the table constantly and they would also there's a second camera trained on me as well so that you see a face on view as well so it feels very personal so it's not like loads, you know, a hands divorced from a body. So you see two views of me. You see my hands and you see my face. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Maureen. Wendy says she's been able to connect with so many people online. Oh, that lost that comment. Oh, okay, right. So yeah, it what we would be making in my first class is the smart clutch wristlet and I'll show you the one that I made yesterday because to be honest it's the one I'm proudest with so I haven't done any <coughs> quilting for the last seven years or so maybe even maybe even more and I the reason I wanted to quilt it was I know I know that 
there are people that have their favorite crafts. So obviously my favorite craft is bag making. It's something that I'm obsessed with. I can do it quite easily without thinking too much. I can do a little bit of dressmaking. I can quilt at a pinch, but I just wanted to, to quilt this because if, if there are people out there who haven't made bags before, they might automatically think, oh, bag making, it's really 3D and I just don't wanna, you know, I like, I, I like what I like and I feel comfortable with that. I would never make myself a bag. Must be too difficult. It's not. It really, really isn't. It's like anything else. You can make super, super easy and kit quilts, or you can make the most intricate quilts or the most intricate dresses. Bag making is exactly the same. It can be as complex or as simple as you like. So with this purse, for instance, I had an Amy Butler um, jelly roll. I believe, I can't remember what this was called. Anyone, anyone will get a bonus point if they can recognize this Amy Butler range. Oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah is one of my mum friends from school. This is slightly strange, but very, very lovely. <laughs> She might not look at me in the same way now. <laughs> so yeah, back to this. I got, a, I got a jelly roll and all I did was I sewed the strips together, super, super easy. And I put some interfacing on the back. So I peeled the seams open rather than folding the seams one way, it's quarter inch seam. I peeled them open, put some interfacing on the back and boom, I had some fabric for my purse. Perfect if you've got straps that you want to use up. And what I did was, so I cut the pattern pieces from this long piece of um, quilt piecing that I did. And then because I wanted an effect to make it look like different squares, I swapped the direction on the pockets. Really, really easy to do. And I, and, and I did that and I did that in an afternoon. And do you know why I was able to do it in an afternoon? because Mabel was at school. It's amazing, isn't it, Sarah? You can actually do stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it, it was really, really fast to do. Um, so I'll tell you more about the clutch. It's, it's, um, it's interface, so it feels nice and squishy. It's made from quilt weight fabric and it's got this really fabby, glossy fastener on. And I hope you'll agree, I think the fact that it's got a glossy fastener on kind of elevates it. I mean, I'm loving, I'm loving the quilting <laughs> anyway, but the fact that it's got this centerpiece here makes it look really eye-catching. And I'd say that, to be honest, when you put this on the table, having paid coffee for your friends, they're gonna say, ooh, where did you get that from? And, and that's the power of a bit of blingy metal. And in the class, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to put this on. You don't need any fancy tools. And in fact, all you're gonna need to put this baby on is a seam ripper and a small crosshead um, screwdriver. And the other bit of metal is a lobster clasp and a D-ring. Honestly, really, really easy. But if you, it, it, when you choose the fabrics, it, well, I'd like to think that you could get this in a gallery, right? I'm going to, there's going to be a bit of a surprise with this, which I'll mention at the end of this live. And this one you might have seen before, it's a polka dot. If you want to be a little bit more matchy matchy with all of your outfits, black and white is always a easy match, always something very handy to have in your wardrobe. And I, lastly, you might have seen this one. I made this from my PU fabric, which you can see at the back there. I'm not going to discuss in the class how to make this with PU fabric, simply because I wouldn't, if you've not made this clutch before, I wouldn't be making it in PU. Completely doable, but I would always make a fabric version first. And uh, yeah, and that's that's the lining there. So I hope you'll agree that it, yes, it's a beginner's clutch. You and I, we're going to figure out how to make this, and I'll be with you for to the very end. And 
if you don't finish the clutch in the it, by the time the class is over don't worry i'm not going anywhere i'm always always happy to answer any bag making questions be it later on this week later next month or next year i'm always i'm always on facebook i'm super approachable ask me any questions you might have about the clutch if you didn't finish it in time you and i we will work it out together be that in class or out of class and that's a promise you'll also get you'll also get a, a pattern booklet pdf which anyway has got pictures and steps so you know that that's something that you'd have so you don't need to take any notes but yes it's lovely to be told sort of person to person how to make it but you'll also get this as well and i'm very approachable and always around sue wants to know what interfacing did i use so um on sue sue for the pu didn't use any interfacing i never use any interfacing on the pu because i think it's got enough gumption on its own um for poplin which is slightly lighter than quilt weight i used woven and on quilt weight i just used the violin medium fusible uh sue wants to know how i can make a tassel sue do you mean this thing or do you just mean like a uh, like a, a, a tassel that hangs off a, a key ring let me know so do you have any questions about making the clutch or how how it is to be um, learning via the zoom class in most people don't see what can you mention yes so oh one thing yes one fundamental thing about learning online is that it's far far more cost effective it's 25 pounds a class that's going to get you three hours of bantering with lots of other lady, giggly ladies and teaching and answering of, of all your questions and super, super clear views. Um, I don't know. I don't know of many classes where they're face to face that cost £25. And, you know, if, if you do, then I, then I would love to know. Um, Twenty-five pounds, I, I, I'd say, is a steal. And the lovely thing about virtual learning is, there are there, there's potentially a lot more of you. And you might think, well, how it must get crowded. But the way it works is, there's up to 40, 40 classmates learning with you. You can still, you can see them all via little icons on your computer screen. Uh, you can joke with each other, Rachel the um, professional host she fields all of your questions so whilst I'm making and talking if you have a question to ask me all you do is you ping that to Rachel by using a text and then Rachel will see if there's any gaps or maybe if I'm taking a break or she would just say oh Lisa so um, you know Maureen wants to know where is the best place to paste the strap or is this fabric suitable and then I'll answer the question so everybody gets listened to and everybody gets their question and there's no there's no shouting over everyone and actually the atmosphere is really really chill I mean that's a large reason why when Rachel was showing me about the classes and she said do you want to teach online I was thinking right okay I, because I've done now now I'm pretty well versed in zoom I've done homeschooling with Mabel on zoom and I don't know if any of you are grandparents or children who have sat in the zoom class and it's like watching a chimps party tea party it's it's hilarious but not everybody gets turned not everybody gets a turn but the beautiful thing about having a host is everyone gets to ask their question and it means that me as an instructor I don't get broken in my train of thought and that I can explain questions to uh, the class in a relaxed manner and I also get to make as well so it believe it or not it's really really diplomatic I mean it's nothing like the house of commons let's put it like that it's far far more civilized and a lot more fun <laughs> people are also in view so they want yes so rachel's saying that 
if if maybe you don't want your face to be seen so and all the classmates appear uh, as little badges on the screen if you don't fancy being visible that's fine you can put up a cartoon of yourself or just say do you know what my hair is being mental I don't want anyone to see my hair that's fine I don't have that option sadly but you as a classmate you can choose to be in full beautiful view or just like hide that ridiculous hair that's absolutely fine um, so I just wanted to say that the class that the, it's limited spaces it's 25 pounds a ticket and for items that you'll need to get for the class so you'll need you'll need this hardware so you're going to need that and you're going to need that and you're going to need that and you're going to need some interfacing as well so you're going to need some medium weight fusible and you're going to need some fleece as well and what I've done is when when you've purchased the class ticket from Rachel she's going to send you a special link to my shop where I've where I'm selling the kit separately. I'm selling the hardware kit separately and the interfacing kit separately should you have one or the other already at home. And I've made them at a reduced price. So that's why you can only get the links if you've bought the class because I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to make that discount available to anyone else. So that's a special discounted rate for the hardware um, and for the interfacing to Crafty Monkeys classmates only. And like I say, you know, once you've got into the class, um, you kind of stuck with me, really. Uh, I'm here to answer any of your questions, and um, I'll reshare your makes and tell you, tell you, um, you answer any. Yeah, if if how if 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 you 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 know it's it's late and you're you're ripping your hair out, but why why can't I iron this interfacing on when you did it? It was fine. Ah, I'm always always happy to help. And it doesn't matter when you choose to help me. You could contact me about it in three weeks' time. I really, really don't mind. Now, I just wanted to... Hubby says he can hear you downstairs. <laughs> Hello, Lynn's hubby. I hope you've learned something. Lynn needs more crafting supplies and fabric to keep her happy. <laughs> Joe says, with Zoom, you can turn your camera off if you don't want to be seen. Absolutely. You can just keep your microphone on. There's different ways to communicate. You can say, help, 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 visually, or you can, or you can send in a chat function, just like using your phone. Uh, and then Rachel will always pick up. So Rachel's not really concentrating on what I'm doing. <laughs> I can run amok. What she's doing is she's keeping an eye on you guys to make sure that you're all feeling comfortable or even she'll even ask you what craft snacks you're eating. Rachel's got this thing about craft snacks and I think it's turned into a bit of a game. So for my first class, I'm going to have to start with the bar quite high. So I'm going to try and bring in some awesome craft snacks. So that, that's a thing with us. So she she chats with you sometimes. So sometimes I need to go quiet because you know I can't really sew and chat at the same time. So Rachel is always there. She see Rachel like like the lady with the hostess trolley, making sure that her hosts have got a drink, they've got good craft snacks, and to see if anybody's got any questions. Because the whole idea is there's nobody left in the corner freaking out or, or feeling like they need to catch up or they don't understand. That doesn't happen in, in Crafty's Monkeys classes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We do a show and tell at the end. It's great fun. Yes, I mean it, it is. It is like a bit of a crafty gossip get together. Really, can get a bit raucous, but if you don't want to be, that's absolutely fine. Sorry, should have just said just hardware. Hello, Amy. Oh, thanks for joining. Lovely to see you. Thank you. That means. A lot. Can I, Rachel? Now, now this this might be controversial Rachel may give me a big telling off about this but I'm new and I don't really know what I'm doing and you'll back me up won't you say you say you'll back me up for this next thing that I'm going to do give me a thumbs up if Rachel gives me a telling off say you'll back me up and I'm just about to do something a bit controversial come on I want to see those thumbs up because I might get a big telling off if I do this
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> See Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got the protection of some very, very fierce craft ladies. They are like, they're like my craft mafia, and I owe them a lot. I know this is a, a cheese alert, but I, I, a lot, a lot of my ladies are from the sewing quarter days, and sewing quarter, it was unique. Nothing, there's been nothing like it. And I firmly believe there will be nothing like it again. And we've all managed to stay together. And I tell you what, a week without a lot of contact without with without my sewing ladies is not a proper week. So anyway, yeah, all right, cheese alert over. Okay, so you see this Amy Butler. By the way, did anyone figure out what range this was? This, this because she's not designing anymore. So obviously the more time that passes that she's not designing, the more precious. Yes, SQ was brill, Helen, absolutely. Rachel, don't be scared. I'm gonna keep my clothes on and I'm not gonna swear, it's fine. Right, here we go. So this here, Amy Butler, smart clutch, that you could be making yourself with my help. I'm going to give this away in a randomized draw at the end of the class. So not only would you have made your own amazing smart clutch ladies, I'm going to gift this one to you. So what we're going to do is at the end of the class, you're all going to, you're all, so we'll all, we'll number you. Rachel, you can do it. You can do it. Can you number the ladies, Rachel? Hey, David! <laughs> One of my blue mates, he doesn't sew, but he should be, is watching. <laughs> Thanks for joining. So, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Oh, thank you, Maria. Thank you. I'm, I like my headband too. Thank you. Have you got the pattern for sale yet? Just join the conversation. Message me later. So, yes, I'm going to be giving this away to one of the classmates in my first, in my first, now I can't say I do this every time but i thought as a nice introductory to becoming a crafty Mo monkeys instructor i'm going to give this away to one of the classmates and what i'll do is we'll, we'll take all of your numbers and i'll put them in a random number generator and whomever number comes out it's yours yeah it's yours. well i hope you like it because it'll be yours anyway is that okay rachel is that all right have i just messed things up properly so, um, well, why, why is Amy not designing anymore? I think I can, well, I, I, I haven't heard from her personally, but I think that she's wanted to go in other directions. Amy is a, a super, super spiritual person. And I think she's gone into personal development and, and, and Reiki. And, um, I think, yeah, she she designs she designs she design likes to design things for other manufacturers. She she stepped away from the fabric. I think that was last year. I know it's a big loss. It's a big. I I I'm a massive Amy Butler fan girl. Yes, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel thinks it's a great idea. I'm not in trouble. Fantastic. Yes. So yeah, we we're going to we're going to number all classmates. I'm going to give, and I'm going to be giving away. So look, yep, it's got one bucket, it's got one bucket. And I'm going to be giving this away to one classmate. And you know, yep, you know, you know when, you know, and anyone who's made bags before, you know when you make a bag and the, you bag it out and the very last thing to do is to stitch the, stitch the gap seam shut. I've actually done it for this because <laughs> usually I'm so excited. I get it online and I haven't stitched shut the bag, the, the bagging seam. So is there, are there any more questions for myself or Rachel before we go and have our lunch? Oh, Wendy, you do Reiki and you've been working on your spiritual path too. It's a good thing. I think... I think that um, lockdown has made everyone just, well, just just stop because you can't go outside anymore. There's fewer distractions and there's a little bit more time to just 
breathe a little bit more deeply and you know look in a little bit I think which is good for everyone Jennifer Jennifer wants the details which the details for the class okay so so Rachel can you can you pop the link for the class in into the into the group ah right yes um Rachel Fisher Whiteley is actually Rachel Pierman and some of you may recognize Rachel Pierman from one of the craft channels she she's a presenter so this is this is what I say so she's got a she's XITV uh, and she's got a face for TV and knows how to work TV so yes where where it says Rachel Fisher Whiteley there's actually Rachel Pierman she's mad as a box of frogs and really passionate about craft and lovely the lady just kind of embodies having a gas and teaching craft so any questions that you have do direct them to her and she'll help pronto yes everyone just go to go to crafty monkeys and and there and, and there, there's a whole well there's a plethora to look at there's lots of other amazing classes by faces that you know and love I mean obviously my favorite is the amazing Charlotte Newland she's the class that I sat in and uh, you know she was teaching like in an oven but tell you what the professionalism that lady has I can only only hope to be as professional as her um, and presume that you need to download zoom Rachel do you need to download zoom for the class I don't think you do I think what happens is just before the class works you'll get an email to your to whichever email that you've given to crafty monkeys and it'll have an alert saying it's now time to join your class you click on the link and then you follow the simple on-screen instructions yeah that's right yeah it's very easy there's no there's no funny gadgetry to download it's a simple link that you'll get in your email and that will gain you access so yeah do I do do give it a go you will be really amazed I, I, of course I yes of course I would say that but if it's not amazing I'll be on Facebook and you will hunt me down obviously won't you and we can't you know in this day and age of doing the right thing which is everyone should be doing the right thing anyway but on social media social media just kind of motivates people even more to do the right thing so I promise you when I say that the instructor views of what you're doing you know what I'll be doing with my hands are crystal clear I promise you that's what you'll think when when you're in the class and you'll be able to see what I'm doing with my hands I mean look put it this way it's it it's far better than what you would see on the craft selling channels so what you it's pretty much like if I went to Charlotte Newland workshop and I'm there sitting on her literally sitting on her shoulders and looking over and seeing what she's doing what she's ironing what seam allowances she's working on or what marking she's tracing but the beauty of it is that up to 40 people get to sit on Charlotte Newland's shoulders I don't know if Charlotte Newland would like that many people sitting on her shoulders but for you guys who are learning in the class it's a beautiful thing now that's just a situation that you cannot recreate in the real world you know what it's like there's an instructor and there are some people like oh gosh the instructor's now doing something different and you've got to rush to her table or his table and try and get a good view of what she's doing and we all know that it's maybe the first two or three that rush to the instructor and then get to see that first class view but the thing is with the online zoom teaching everybody gets to be in the front honestly oh Susan I do hope you'll be joined that'd be amazing um, Jennifer wants to know if he yes it Jennifer do if if you go to the class please it really does help if you cut out the pieces I've included a document on um, how to cut out the pieces but honestly it's straightforward 
But if you don't find it straightforward, simply message me or, or just hit me up on Facebook and um, I'll show you the I'll show you what the pattern pieces look like. Just three pattern pieces like that, like that and like that. Just three pattern pieces with all the markings on. Um, I, I explain exactly what you need to cut out on the pattern pieces and but if you find if you find you're getting stuck or you want fabric recommendations or even pattern matching if you trust my color sense you might like it you might not I'm even happy to give you an opinion on what lining fabric might go with your outer fabric as well but yeah if you cut out your pieces that means that the class can go at a more sedate pace because everybody sews at a different speed and um, we won't want everyone to feel as though, you know, everyone can do everything in their own time, which is nice in a class, isn't it? Um, Lisa, please mention it's the 30th and 6 p.m. OK, yep. So the class is on the on the 30th. Is it not the 29th? And on six and at 6 p.m. So it's a Thursday. It's the Thursday night and it's 6 p.m. And you'll get the pattern the week before. Rachel, that's a shame that it's more as I can't always that I can. Oh, Martina. Yeah, sometimes it's it's sometimes it's busy when um, you're self-employed and yeah, it's a bit harder to plan ahead. I understand. OK, right. So if there aren't any more any more questions, we'll pop off and have some lunch. Oh, Christina. Oh, my goodness. Christina. <laughs> Christina is a girl from my London College of Fashion days. Awesome. Lovely to see you. Yes, yeah, so Rachel is just saying that um, the class gets videoed. So you're not in the video for privacy, obviously. But what I'm saying and what I'm doing gets edited down so if I pull any faces or go um and uh and uh a lot that gets chopped out and the class gets turned into a professional teaching video that you can if you wish to purchase at a discount or if you didn't attend a class then it's a little bit more for the class but yes those teaching videos so Rachel decided to do those because loads of people said look the time zone is not right for me or you know I have to do dinner or whatever but it would be amazing to buy the video of the class so Rachel has begun to do those and they've been going down a storm oh Susan's picked her fabric out already oh thank you sweetheart <laughs> bye Jennifer thanks for joining us Catherine wants to know is it a downloadable pattern yes it is Catherine but you know I've made life easier for you by including on the pattern a one inch square so I know that whenever you print something it says print at 100% and then even when you've done that you're not sure the pattern is the right size so to make it to make it easier there's a one inch square on all of the pattern pieces and providing that that one inch measures one inch you're good to go but like I say, ask me anything. There's, you know, as far as I'm concerned, there's no such thing as a daft question. You only, you learn by asking questions. The more, the merrier. I'd rather you ask your questions and felt happy with what you are doing rather than doubting yourself, feeling stressed out, and then maybe making something that you're not happier with because I would feel as though that that is partly my fault and I don't want that. So yeah, ask me anything and ask me any time honestly that is genuinely my motto oh thank you for booking Helen yay great thanks a lot oh Susan it's a fabric you bought from me <laughs> would it be Japanese by any chance Susan <laughs> Okay, so do you think do you think that's it? Do you think that's it, Rachel? Shall we shall we go off and have our lunches now, or is it, if there's any more questions, absolutely happy to stay and answer. Or if you want to friend me, if you want to friend me, it's just Lisa Lamb on Facebook. I'll friend you back as long as you're not. I've been getting a lot of friend requests from what looks to be ex-army Americans. 
Needless to say, I ignore them. So if you don't look like an ex-army American and you friend me, I'll definitely friend you back. And then that way you can message me any of your questions. Oh, brilliant. Regular Ladies Julie is watching. She has been on loads. Fab. Thank you, Julie. I hope you like my classes. Susan says she's not telling me what fabric she's going to use. <laughs> well, that's 10 years, 12 years worth of selling fabric. So I am going to be surprised. Victoria wants to know if Rachel's mentioned the snacks. Uh, well, I, Victoria, I mentioned the snacks. I am, you know, like I say, a bit nervous about the snacks. So for my first class, I'm going to make an effort and do some good snacks. I mean, yeah, peanuts, salted peanuts are out, definitely. Lynn says they're always trying to friend on Instagram too. I block them. I know. What is it with them? Seriously, ex-army ex American lookalike blokes messaging people and then saying, I want to be your friend. I don't know why they think that that would ever work. <laughs> Pleasure, Wendy. Thanks for joining us. Maureen says, I got loads of those requests last year. Why? Why? <laughs> Catherine wants to know, is the pattern in any of my books? No, it's not. It's, it's a standalone pattern, Catherine. Rachel, a little plug for tonight. What class is tonight, Rachel? Can you let me know and I'll mention it. Hello, Baffa! Baffa is, um, in, if you don't know Baffa, why? Um, Baffa is my other bag making bestie expert lady. Lynn says they're weirdos. Yes, they definitely are. Rachel says stu still few classes available. Oh, Charlotte Newland's teaching a baby dress. It's the geranium dress, isn't it? Super, super cute. And Unsurprisingly, Charlotte is amazing online, just I'm sure as she is face to face. Don't worry, Becky. Don't worry. I know you're a busy lady. Helen wants to know about reminding me about getting the kit. So Helen, like I say, that the kit, the kit is at a reduced price. Honest to God, I'm not selling. I'm not selling it at a. I'm not selling it at a profit. But the thing is. The reason they have to get it from my shop was I can't afford to post it for free. So the kit is all at a reduced price that's not usually available to any of my other customers. You'll get the link to buy the, the kit, the hardware kit and the interfacing kit. When you buy the class, Rachel will email you the link to where the kits are available in my shop and I'll post them out pronto. Sue says it's after 12, so June 2... <laughs> It's perfectly acceptable. Well, yes. Why not? Go for it. <laughs> uh, Maureen says, so those ex of my army American looky likeies, they've pinched the photos to make themselves look like ex army American. Even more weird. This is, you know, the, the women don't do this because they're busy looking after children, working their tails off or sewing. They obviously need to sew more. Yeah, so yes. So about so about the links, the links to the patterns, you'll get them the week before, and the links to the kit, you'll get them in good time so that I can post them to you on time. <laughs> Liz says, guess you're still on about the weirdo blokes online. Right, shall we call this to an end? Like I say, if if um, if I was chatting too much and I didn't answer a question, um, either wait for wait for myself or Rachel to get back to you when we read um, when we read back through the comments. Or honestly, feel free to message me on my Facebook page, or or, or yeah, answer answer me and uh, message me via the me uh, messenger, and I'll get back to you. Susan is skint this week. Mm, yes, I know. I know that feeling. Oh my goodness! Nick Robinson is watching. <laughs> Hello, Nick. Thanks for joining me. Ah, 
Buffers only figured out, are you talking about dirty men wanting to add you as friends? Yes, Buffer, how did you know? Yes, I bet you get lots of them too. Maureen Strachan says they're scammers. Yeah, yeah, scammers and scummers. Gross. Okay, so Rachel's just popped up an email where you can message her um, for any questions that you might have. It's hello at crafty monkeys. That's monkeys with a K I E S dot com. Thanks for joining us, Martina. It was lovely seeing you too. <laughs> Becky says, yes. Loads of ex-army, look, American army looking blokes have tried to befriend Buffer. <laughs> okay. My tummy's going to start making these really unprofessional gurgling sounds. So it might be time for me to pop and have my lunch now. So like I say, any, any questions for either myself, go to the Crafty Monkeys website there's a contact page there or and or message me and I'll answer any questions that you might have about the clutch or about the class or how it works or where you need to get anything. You can do that anytime and I'll get back to you. Thanks for helping me out, Rachel. I hope that um, I haven't brought the image of crafty monkeys down. <laughs> bye bye, Susan. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Knew I could count on you. Right. Have yourself a really, really lovely afternoon. I hope your washing didn't get too wet in the rain. I hope you can have something nice for lunch. Um, I'm going to be doing some more sewing uh, and I'm going to be reading through your comments now. I hope you have a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Uh, thanks Baffa, that would be lovely. I'm sure I'll be messaging you soon enough about something or another. Bye lovelies, thanks for joining me, it meant a lot. These things are slightly nerve-wracking, you know. I know I might look like super bubbly and everything, but I can only be super bubbly if I know that some of my ladies out there. So honestly, it means a lot that you show up. Mm -hmm. Bye!